Following on from the previous video, we've seen that if you rotate this, if you rotate this 360 along the Y axis, you would get a 3D solid looking something like this. And uh, and uh, and, the, and we've also seen that the volume of this thing here is given by by pi. We've seen this many times. The volume of this thing here is given by by pi. Now we, we are still trying to find out the area, this area here underneath underneath the graph. Well, let's let's just say this area here is um, is capital Q. Now, uh, as as it turns out, Q equals the the square root of the volume here. Well, and the, the we remember the vo the volume of this thing here. We've seen this many times. Is pi. So as it turns out, this area here is equal to the square root of the volume. So so th so the area underneath here is given by this. So another way of stating it is that Q squared equals V. So as as it turns out, when you square this, when you square the area underneath the graph, it equals the the volume of this solid here. And the, and the volume of this solid here is pi. So so hang on. So uh, so you've got this thing here, and then if you square root both sides, q equals the square root of pi. So this thing here is the same as this. But the the point I'm trying to make is, if we can verify this, then we know that the area underneath this graph equals will equal the square root of pi. So our job here is to verify this. If we can verify this, then we know the area underneath that graph here happens to be uh, square root of pi. Now, now in the past we so 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 to to verify this to verify this well our aim here is to verify this if we can verify this then we know that this is true now in the past we would work out the volume of this solid by summing up all the shells by summing up all the shells but the way we can see why this is true is by by working out the volume of this thing in a different way and that different way is really us summing up all these slices along here. So let me just elaborate on this. Okay, but, but b b before we do that, let, let me just give you the... Um, so, so hang on. So we, the way we see that this is true, the way we, the way we see this tr is true, is really for us to sum up all the, all the slices along here. So, so if, if you imagine this is, as your 3D solid here, I, in the past we would sum up all the shells but now, if you to to really see why this is true, we need to we need to uh, sum up we need to sum up all the all the uh, all the slices here. So if, if you if you imagine having a three D three D solid here and getting a knife and cutting it along the y axis, you will if you cut it along the y axis, you will get um, a a cross a cross sectional area of this. Okay, and then if you get it. If you imagine having a 3D solid here like this, um, and then if you cut it, uh, if you get a knife and cut it along here, you would get uh, a, uh, a cross-sectional area of something something looking like this. So, so, so you can imagine this as being like um, like your your so so this here is your so so this is your this is your circle here, and then you've got circles here, and then the circles goes all the way to infinity. Well, if you look at this circle here, that that really on this diagram, just drawn badly, it's really this circle here. It's, it's that circle there. So 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 you cutting it along here, along the y-axis. So that's you cutting it along the the y-axis here. And then if you cut it uh, at a random place, let's call it at x equals b, then uh, then then it will look like this. Then it will look like this. Okay, so uh, so so uh, so if you if you sum up if you sum up all the slices if you sum up all these areas here you uh, so so you can work out the volume of this thing here by summing up all the um, all the all, all the areas here from from negative infinity all the way to 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 positive infinity. Okay, I I will continue in the next video.